<laughs> oh, Charlie, you're so foolish. Dad, uh, what are you doing? What do you want, Junior? I'm watching Charlie and Friends, duh. Oh, well, I just didn't know what you were doing. Doofy the Dragon's about to come on. I didn't know if you want to watch it with what? me. What? What's Doofy the Dragon? Doofy the Dragon's the coolest show ever. It's funny, and it, it's just educational, and it helps kids be better kids. Well, you definitely should be watching it, but not with me, because Charlie's on. Well, come on, Dad, watch it. Oh, no, no, no. All righty, kids, it's time for Doofy the Dragon. <laughs> <laughs> hey kids, I'm Doofy the Dragon, and today I'm going to teach you how to not let people steal your money. So sing along with me if you know the words. Do you know the Muffin Man, the Muffin Man, the Muffin Man? Do you know the Muffin Man? Cause the asshole owes me money. Have you seen the Muffin Man, the Muffin Man, the Muffin Man? Have you seen Muffin man, cause if you do, I'm gonna get my money! I'm gonna sue him! I'm gonna kill him! I'm gonna sue him! Sue him! Sue him! You know what? Stop the damn music! Stop it! Muffin man, if you're listening, I'm coming for your ass! I'm coming! I'm packing too! Ah, that's so funny, Doofy! That's not funny at all! That was stupid and ridiculous and a waste of my time! I don't even see how this is on TV! Well, it's the funnest show ever! No, it's not! Charlie and Friends is the funnest show ever! We're gonna watch that! I don't wanna watch Charlie! Charlie and Friends was filmed in front of a live audience. <laughs> you ducky! Oh, hi guys! I'm Charlie. And today, I'm putting Mentos inside of a Diet Coke! It's gonna be fun! Ooh, did hurry you up? <laughs> oh my god, now that's comedy! <laughs> well, I guess I guess it was kinda of funny. Um uh, I'm I'm gonna go try it, okay? What what? No, you're not gonna try it! Why not? Charlie is a trained professional and that that's a big mess right there. You're not gonna clean it up. Well, I mean, it's not that big of a mess, and, I mean, we have Diet Coke and Mento, can I please do it? No, you're not gonna do it! I swear, if you do it, I'm gonna strangle you, Junior. Okay, I won't do it. Oh. Yeah, that's some good discipline. Oh, I hate Junior, I hate Junior, I hate the mama! Hey, Jeff, BB. What do you want? I'm cleaning. Oh. Well, do we have any Diet Coke? Yes, it's in the pantry. Okay, uh, do we have any Mentos? Yes, it's in the pantry. Okay, thank you. Wait, what do you need with them? Well, um, I was watching Charlie in front of my dad, yep. and Charlie did this really funny thing where he put uh, Mentos in the Diet Coke, and it made a big explosion, a big mess, and I want to do it in the kitchen. What? No, you're not going to do it in the kitchen. I'm going to be stuck with the mess. You're not going to clean it up. Well, what if I help you clean it up? <laughs> Come on, Junior. Let's be honest. We both know you're not going to help. Uh, you're right. See, you even admit it. Well, come on, Chef Baby. It's not going to be that big of a mess. Please, it's going to look cool. What did your dad say? Well, he said if I do it, he'll strangle me. Well, that's your answer. Do you want to get strangled? No, but I mean, if you clean it up before he finds out, he won't strangle me. I don't want to be cleaning up messes all day. That's not what I want to do. Well, Chef BB, I really want to do it. Why can't you just go outside and uh, make a mess? Well, if I go outside, it's too dark and someone might kidnap me. <laughs> Come on, Junior. You could be a comedian. Nobody wants to kidnap you. <laughs> well, why not? They will bring you back instantly, like so fast. Oh. Oh, please, Chef BB, can I do it? It's just a small mess. Please, 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 please. No! Okay. Oh, I'll just play with my train. Yes, finally. Oh, hi, guys. I'm Charlie again. And now I'm going to pass a kidney stone. See, a kidney stone is when you go and take a pee, and it's like a rock just comes out of your pee pee, and it just rips it in half. It's not really fun. But I gotta pass it anyway. <sighs> Come on. Let's not be that painful.
Oh gosh, Shabibi! Red Velvet Oreos, my favorite! Oh, Shabibi! I need you to take me to the hospital fast! I think I have kidney stones! Wait, what, Bowser? That sounds so ridiculous. You don't have kidney stones. Oh, don't argue with me. Just please take me to the hospital now, stat. But what about Junior? Well, I don't really care about him. This kidney stone's more important. <sighs> Whatever. Come on, let's go. Uh, Junior, you better not make a mess. Uh, hey, Thomas. Chef Peepee won't let me put Mentos in Diet Coke, and I'm angry. Wait, what happened to your train track? Ah, uh, stupid Taliban. Screw you, Osama Bin Laden. Uh, but man, am I hungry. Let me get Chef Peepee to make me something to eat. Uh, Chef Peepee, I'm hungry! Chef Peepee! What? Chef Peepee? Chef Peepee! Huh. Where's Chef Peepee? Oh, he's probably in my dad's room. Uh, Chef Peepee? Dad? Dad? Chef. I think I'm home alone! You know what that means? Mentos and Diet Coke! Mentos and Diet Coke! Hey, Tom, what's up, Junior? What are you doing in my house? Oh, you know, <laughs> I just be creeping and shit. <laughs> uh, well, have you seen my dad or Chef Peepee? Oh, uh, no, uh, I just walked in. Oh, well, I guess I'm home alone because I can't find him. Oh, uh, that's cool, bro. You know what that means. Uh, put Mentos and Diet Coke? No, I thought we were going to drink bleach, but we can do that too. Well, that sounds awesome. Okay, so uh, I have to Mentos and Diet Coke. We can go do that, but. Yeah. But, but, um, but. What? My, my, my dad and Chef Peepee told me not to do it. Well, I don't know, I mean... Come on, live by your own rules! Uh, YOLO, bro! YOLO! What's that mean? I don't know, it's in a dictionary somewhere. I think he... Uh, something with spaghettis. Oh. Well, I don't know. Just have fun for once! Jeez, Junior! We haven't had fun in forever! Come on! Uh, okay, I guess. Yeah! Uh, okay, Toad. Uh, here's the Diet Coke and the Mentos. Okay, dude, let's do it! No, no, my dad and Chef Peepee told me not to do it! What? Because they, they said it was going to make a big mess. And I, if it makes a big mess, I'll get grounded. So they told me not to do it. Don't screw them! <laughs> they don't know what they're talking about! Oh, you should have fun, Junior! Don't worry about consequences! Well, what's well, going gonna to happen when we put the mint in the, in the Diet Coke? I mean, um, it, it should just drop back in the bottle. It might shoot out a little bit, but it'll drop back in the bottle. It has, like, gravity and stuff. So it won't make a mess? Yeah, no, I promise! Well... Come uh, on! Okay, I'm gonna unscrew it. Okay, I'll hold it. Oh, wag is really fizzy. Uh, Hurry up, let's go in. Uh, uh, All right, I got the nipple. Okay. You ready? Yeah. Go! Oh, what? Oh, what? Oh, 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 you, you said it wouldn't make a mess! My dad! Oh, oh my god, I'm so grounded! This is a huge ass mess! Oh, oh my god, what happened when my, oh, what happened when my dad gets home? I don't know! Oh, you haven't cleaned it up! Oh, You didn't have any kidney stones. Well, how am I supposed to believe you? You're not a doctor. <sighs> Junior, what the hell? Why would you make a mess in the kitchen? <laughs> Junior! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! My dad might find me. I'm, I'm high. <sighs> oh my god, Doc McStuffins! My dad's gonna kill me. What do I do? Hey, kid. What? Doc McStuffins? No, nah, no, nah, it's me. What? Screwball? What are you doing in my clubhouse? Uh, I don't know. What are you, what are you doing in here? Oh, hiding from my dad and Chef Peepee. They're gonna kill me. Oh, why? Be because um, I made a big, big mess. Oh, I know. Um, Can you go out there and pretend to be me? I'll pay you $10. Oh, sure, kid. Yeah, so go out there and pretend to be me, okay? All right. Oh, yeah, they're going good. They're, not, they're gonna believe it. Choo-choo. Oh, Junior, where are you? Hey, Wait, I'm Junior. You're not Junior? Yeah, I am. You're not my son. Who are you, imposter? Hey, Dad. Well, he puts up a convincing argument. Just get out of here, Bowser. You're not even helpful. Well, whatever. So, who are you? I love my Thomas. Come on, just cut the board, okay? We know you're not Junior, so just tell me where he is. Now. Huh? So, so, what mess did you make in the kitchen, then, if you're Junior? Uh, they're Diet Coke and Mentos. How do you know that? I'm Junior. 
Oh, just tell me where Junior is! Uh, right here. You're Chef Pee Pee. Yes, I know I'm Chef Pee Pee. My dad is Bowser, and you're the slave. You don't even look like Junior, you, you're black, come on! Make me a sandwich. I'm not gonna make you a sandwich. Please? Okay, I'll make you a sandwich if you tell me where Junior is. Never. Come on, just tell me where Junior is! You just gonna ignore me now? Never. Uh, I'll tell you what, kid. If you give me $15, I'll tell you who gave me $10 to be a junior. Okay? Oh my god. Uh, fine, I I'll give you $15. Now, where is he? Right there. Oh, Junior! I'm gonna play with Thomas. Get the hell out of there, Junior! No, never! You made the mess now! Come and clean it up now! Never! I'm not home! Get out, Junior! No, don't, no, 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 don't! Out. Get no adults allowed! Get your big nose out of here! Get out, Junior! Never! You know what? I'm gonna come in the way! Ah! You can't leave me! Go away, go away! What are you doing, Junior? Uh, staying away from your big stinky nose! Get down from there! You're gonna hurt yourself! Never! I'm all never coming down! I'm gonna stay up here and live here forever! Oh, why do you have to be so difficult? Because you're gonna strangle me and I don't want you to strangle me, so go suck a lemon! Huh? Look, it could go easy. You could just come down here and clean up the mess. That's all I want you to do. Or I can strangle you and force you to clean it with your tongue! Uh, how about... Hmm, let's think about that. Uh, never go suck a butt? Oh, Junior. You know what? I'll go suck a butt. Hold on. Okay, Hold on. Ah, I get hey, down from that, Junior! Stop throwing pillows at me! How about you just get down so I can just strangle you to death and make you stop breathing? Uh, no, I'm, no, I'm not coming down. I'm not coming down. Just get down! No, I'm not coming down. Uh, never, never. Uh, ah, no, 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 no. I'll strangle you! No, no, shit, baby! Shit, baby! What? For real. Like, time out for a second. I think I broke my arm. You think I believe Ow. that? I really did, Jimmy. It hurts so bad. Uh, whatever. Uh, I'm not going to believe that. No, no, I'm going to strangle you. Jimmy. You're not getting out of cleaning that. That man. Take me to the hospital, Chef PP. Take me uh, to the hospital. Uh, just come on. <laughs> Ow. Okay, so you broke your arm, but that doesn't make any excuses. But, but Chef PP, it really hurts. Uh, can you go get me an apple juice? Oh, so you can put Mentos in that and make it explode? Wait, that'll work? Uh, no, it won't work. It's juice. Oh, oh Chef PP, my arm really needs some apple juice. Whatever, I'll go and get the stupid apple juice. Thank you, Chef Pee Pee. Ho, 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 where is that son of mine that needs a beating? No, no, Dad, you can't beat me. I broke my arm. No, uh, you, you broke your arm? Yeah, uh, I fell out of a tree thing and I broke it. So, so you, can't, you can't beat me. Well, you are right. I can't beat you while you're injured. Yeah. But you kind of did make a big mess. Oh, I'm sorry. Mm, I guess that's sorry I have to do for now. Really? You're not going to hit me or anything? No, I'm not going to discipline you or nothing. But I am gonna hit that arm! Ah! Oh god! Ow! Oh, why did you do that? Ow! Jeffy, you're gonna be late for school. Baby, have you seen my car keys? No, Marvin. Looking for these, Daddy? Jeffy, give me my car keys. Ha ha, you're short. Give them to me, Jeffy. Oh, well, Jeffy, spit them out. Spit them out right now. Mm -hmm. uh... well, Jeffy, you swallowed my car keys. Well, now I don't have to go to school. Oh, you're going to school, Jeffy. Marvin, why doesn't he just take the bus? It's already late. He already missed the bus. Well, it looks like I need to stay home from school. No, Jeffy, because you have a car, so we're gonna drive you in your car. Not if I can swallow the keys first. Oh, no, Jeffy! <laughs> Jeffy, you are going to school. Come on, right now. Oh, man. <sighs> Jeffy, get in the car. Don't have to. You just have to. Uh, yeah, yeah. If you don't get in the car, you're grounded. Aww. All right, Jeffy, put your seatbelt on. Can we bum some tunes so the hoes know I'm coming? Seatbelt now. Jesus. All right, Jeffy, let me know when it's safe to go. I don't want to get in a car accident. Oh, you're good for days. in so much pain, Jeffy. I think my arm's broken. Oh my god, Marvin, what happened to you two? I trusted Jeffy. Oh, Daddy, you totally had it. You were just too slow. Okay, you two. You're lucky to be alive. And you, you should have your driver's license revoked. Who pulls out in front of cars like that? My son told me there were no cars coming. And you believed him? What, you couldn't take the two seconds to just look? You know, you had mirrors for a reason. You know, if you had blind spot cameras like my Hyundai Sonata, this never would have happened. Listen, I don't want to get yelled at. I'm in a lot of pain. Danny, you look like you hate towers. How long is the recovery process, doctor? Uh, him, I think he'll probably be fine. Just got a broken arm and then a bruised face. But him, oh no. 
no, this is his life now. I mean, his jaw is broken, his ribs are destroyed. I mean, you could poke him with a pillow and kill him. His eyes kind of hanging out, and his arm has melted to his head from the engine fire. Yeah, he's gonna be like this forever. What? So he has to live his whole life looking like that? Oh, yeah. Unless you hire me as a plastic surgeon. Well, how much would that cost? Uh, about 50 G's. What, $50,000? We don't have that kind of money. Can, can you do it like a favor? No, 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 no. There's no pro bono surgeries here. Except for the girl who came in for a free boob job. That was pro boner. So you're gonna pay me or what? We don't have that kind of money. Then get out of my hospital. <sighs> Come on, Jeffy. Ow. Go. Ow. Shoot. Ow. Why are you guys staring at me? Well, Jeffy, we're just concerned because why do you look like that? Because I got in a car accident. Oh, I'm so sorry, Jeffy. Do you want some of my free medium french fries I get from McDonald's every week? No, I don't think I can eat because my esophagus is closed up. All right, before we start class today, I wanted to remind everyone that tomorrow is picture day. So make sure you look your best. These pictures are gonna be in the yearbook for years and years, and you don't want people to look back and be like, damn, he ugly. So, any questions? Yes, Jeffy? What's your question? Well, I don't have a question. Well, then don't put your hand up if you don't have a question. Put your arm down. My arm is stuck to my face because I got into a car accident. Oh, you are ugly as shit. Go to the principal's office right now. You are way too ugly for me to look at. <laughs> yeah, bye, freak. Hey, my arm may be stuck to my face, but I can still whoop your ass. So shut it. Cross, if you look right now, you better do something to fix yourself by tomorrow. Oh, man, I'm in so much pain. Well, you need to drive more careful next time, Marvin. I was driving careful. Jeffy said there were no cars coming. Hey, Dave. What, Jeffy, what are you doing home so early? You're supposed to be at school. The teacher said I was too ugly to look at. That's horrible, Jeffy. You're still our handsome little boy. I am? Yes, Jeffy. Well, picture day's tomorrow. Oh, dear God, no. Well, Jeffy, you can't go to picture day looking like that? You guys just said I was your handsome boy. Well, Mommy, lie. Your face looks really bad. You look like something out of a scary movie. We need to get your face fixed or something. But Marvin, it costs $50,000. We can't afford that. Well, maybe the doctor will put us on a payment plan. Let me just call the doctor and see what we can do. Hey there, you call a doctor? Oh, hey, it's you guys. You guys finally decided to pay me for plastic surgery? Well, yeah, kind of, because tomorrow's picture day at school. Oh, yeah, I do a lot of business around this time. People want me to fix the ugly. They call me Dr. Ugly Fixer because I fix ugly, as previously implied. Then why haven't you fixed the bald spot on your head? <laughs> I, mean, I want to fix it, but I can't afford to pay myself. Damn it, if I would just lower my prices. Well, see, that's why we called you, because we can't afford you either. Like, your prices are just too high, and we were wondering if maybe you could put us on a payment plan? But are you, are you asking if there's another way you can pay me? Well, is there? I mean, listen. No. What? I want cash, okay? I don't care what your wife will do to me. Wait, what? Yeah, I, I, it doesn't matter, because cash doesn't whine and then want to be cuddled afterward. Well, no, no, listen, we just can't afford that like, price. Like, maybe we can pay you later, right? Like, like, you could do the surgery now, and then we pay you all that money later? Okay, but if I do the surgery, what if you move away to, like, Antarctica or something, and I never see you again? Then I'm out $50,000. Ooh, ooh, I got an idea. What if you put a tracker in Jeffy's face? Like, when you cut it open to fix it, you put a tracker in there, so if we don't pay, you can track us down. Huh. Okay, yeah, I like that. I'll do the surgery now, and if you don't pay me later, I'll come back with a baseball bat and rough you up a little bit. Uh, uh, okay. All right, that sounds good. Uh, hey, you want me to uh, give your wife some bigger cans while we're at it? Uh -huh. Marvin, no! Okay, okay, fine. I'll just do Jeffy. Come on. Okay, I'm done with the surgery. Is Jeffy okay? Oh, yeah, he's never looked better. Are we going to recognize him? Oh, yeah, he's going to be the son you've always wanted. Okay, everybody, say hello to Jeffy. Uh, don't gay! Give me some cheese cake! Shred, get out of here! Go, you little rascal! Uh, don't gay! Damn ogres. Jeffy, can you just get in here? Hey, Donnie! What, Jeffy? Yep, that's him. But what did you do to him? Oh, well, I uh, fixed his teeth. I made his eyes not crooked. I fixed that stupid unibrow. I slicked his hair back, and I gave him some nice clothes. He also added a few extra inches down there, so now I'm rocking a full four inches. Yeah, I did what I could. Oh, yeah, and I also found this in his lower intestine. Those are my car keys. Well, there they are. Well, Jeffy, you do look really good. Yep, that's what I do. And I also put the tracker in his nose, so if you don't pay me, I'm gonna get you. All right, champ, you have fun at picture day. Save some poo-poo for the rest of us. So, Jeffy, how do you feel? I feel constipated, Daddy. Real constipated. The poop troops are stuck in the poop loop. Well, I think you look handsome, Jeffy. Yeah, you need to get some sleep, because you have a big day tomorrow with picture day. Can I sleep in this?
Yeah, Jeffy, don't take that off. You look really good. I want you to look like that in the picture, so go to bed. Uh -huh. He looks really good. Whoa, Jeffy, looking fine, like a Sharpie. Thanks, Cody. But Jeffy, how do you look so good? Yesterday you were so ugly, and now you look so good. I got plastic surgery, Junior. Well, I thought that was just to give girls bigger boobies. No, they do everything, even butt. Oh my god, Jeffy, you look so hot. Thanks. No, like, you look really hot. All right, calm down. You need to get spayed. You're in heat. All right, grass. I hope everyone is ready for picture day. You wouldn't want to take an embarrassing photo. Oh, my God, Jeffy. You look so handsome. Thanks, Teach. Oh, my God, PJ. You're so cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're guapo. I don't know what that means, but I agree. <gasps> Maria, look at that boy over there. Oh, Dios mío. Muy caliente, si puppy. Let's go over there and talk to him. Wait, wait, ladies, where are you going? The bowl of coleslaw is right here. L ladies, what the? That man's jacking my steez. Hey. You're so hot. See, see, so sexy. Jeffy, give me your number. Ladies, ladies, please. I'm constipated. I'm trying to poop here. Give me some space. Bro, you stole my chicks. That's not very bro-like of you. I never stole these girls. They were never yours in the first place. It was just your turn. Oh, that's it, bro. I'm going to get revenge. And when PJ gets revenge, things get ugly. Let's kiss him. <laughs> ladies, the diarrhea is flowing. Hey, Jeffy, how was picture day? I don't know. You tell me. Check it out. I'm one handsome son of a gun. Aw, look at my handsome baby boy. Be careful with that paper, Mommy. It's wet. Girls have been sitting on it all day, so it's saturated in fish stick juice. Well, you look really good, Jeffy. Thanks, Daddy. Ah! Well, it's time to hit the hay. So you pooch moochers behave. <sighs> it's time for me to get some shut eye. I'm tired of girls kissing on me all day. Jeffy. This'll teach you for stealing my girls. Hey, Jeffy! We snow! <laughs> daddy, daddy, daddy! Whoa! He's hideous! What happened to your face, Jeffy? Somebody broke inside the house and hit me in the face with the mallet until I was ugly again. But what happened, Jeffy? I literally just said it. But then how did someone beat you in the face till your unibrow grew back? I don't know, but they did it! Alright, I'm here for my money. What, what, why do you have a bat? In case you don't pay up. Uh, uh pay, pay, pay up for what? For the surgery that I did, remember, to make Jeffy- Wait, what, why is Jeffy ugly? <laughs> what, he, what do you mean? He's always been ugly. No, 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 I, I gave him plastic surgery to make him handsome. What? No, you didn't. What, y yeah, I did. You guys were in a car accident, and then I did surgery, and I made him handsome. But baby, do you, do you remember do you remember this this doctor doing surgery? Um, no. Wait, 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 no, 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 no. Okay, so if you weren't in a car accident, what happened to you? Uh, I I fell down the stairs and and, and she dropped the toaster on my head. Yeah, I did that. R really? So so there was no. Wait, there, wait, there, wait. There, there were no surgery. Jeffy, close your mouth. What? See, see, look, look, look. He's always looked like that, and today was picture day, so. Yeah, no, you must have must no, had no, a bad no, dream. No. You must have had a bad dream. No, 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 it's like this can't have been a dream. I remember it. You guys were in a car accident, and then I did surgery, and then Shrek was there. Yeah, this must have been a dream. There's no way Shrek would have been here. That doesn't make any sense. Man, really? This was a dream? Yeah, it must have been a dream. You must be getting old. Oh, man, I'm really sorry for coming in here and threatening you with my stolen Sammy Sosa bat. What? Like, no, this is really stolen. Stolen from Sammy Sosa. Stolen right from his locker. See his name's on it. It's nuts. Anyway, sorry. Oh, that was a close one. Now we don't have to pay him money. <sighs> All right, Jeffy, did you learn your lesson for today? Look both ways. Look both ways. Before, before crossing, crossing the street. The street. What's wrong, Joseph? Man, I'm so hungry. When is the dinner gonna be ready? Shapipi needs to hurry up. He's making it, dude. Stop being a butt. Yeah, I'm starving too. Look, y'all are being butt faces. Doofy the Dragon's coming on. Just shut up and watch TV. All right. All righty, kids. It's time for Doofy the Dragon. <laughs> Hi, kids. I'm Doofy the Dragon. And today, we're gonna brush our teeth. 
So the first thing you gotta do is get your toothbrush. Then you gotta get your toothpaste. And then, uh, I don't have f***ing teeth. This is gonna be a problem. God hates me. Stupid mess. Sharp baby, sharp baby, baby, baby. What baby. do you want? What, what could you possibly want now? Why is there stupid green booger stuff all over my plate of food? It's not boogers, it's broccoli, and you need to eat it. It's healthy for you. What? Broccoli? Well, well then why doesn't Joseph and Cody have to eat it? Um, because they're not our children, and I can't force them to eat something I know they're not gonna eat. You can't force me to eat it. Well, your dad said he wants you to eat the broccoli, so you have to eat it. But it's gross and it looks like boogers. But it's okay, because you're going to eat it anyway. Now, come on. What? Come on, come on. Uh, Sit down, Junior. My chef, PB, I don't want to eat the gross booger broccoli stuff. Ew. Look, I don't care what you want. Your dad said that you have to eat it, because you don't ever eat vegetables ever. But chef, PB, it's gross. And and I, I don't have anything to eat it with. Uh, that, that's why I can't eat it. Cause... Oh, look, I, I can solve that. Here you go. There's a fork. Are you happy now? No, I don't want to eat this Come stupid on. gross stuff and Joseph and Cody don't have to eat it. Look, I don't care what Joseph and Cody doesn't have to do because... What the hell is Wait. that? Well, you're good. You're eating really loud. Yeah. Uh, See, and I can't enjoy my food like that because I don't have chips. I have stupid gross book of broccoli stuff. Look, the broccoli is very good. It's delicious. I promise you. Just eat your stupid broccoli and your bagels. You got something that's, you know, not that healthy. The ba little, little pizza roll bagel thing. But I'm not going to eat it. Look, just it. sit down and eat your freaking food, okay? Or I'm going to get your dad and he's going to come in here and beat your ass. <laughs> yeah. You don't want that to happen, do you? Oh, Chef Pee-Pee, I don't, don't want to eat it. I don't want to eat it. You don't want that to happen in front of your friends, do you? Or, or they'll go home too, huh? <laughs> Cody, you can stop. Yeah. God, Fine, I'll, I'll guess I'll try to eat it. And you better not get, uh, get up from this table, because if you do, I will tell your dad, and you know what happens when that happens. Uh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um... Guys? Uh, like, yeah, what's up? Uh, the, 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 the pizza rolls are good, right? Yeah, they're delicious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I like the pizza rolls, but, um... How's that broccoli, though? Oh, I haven't even tried it, but, um... I was gonna offer y'all a deal. Um, oh. Whoever will eat my broccoli for me, I'll, I'll pay them one dollar. Ooh, make it five. Yeah, make it ten. Wait, C Cody. Right? Wait, wait, no, I would obviously go with Joseph, because yeah. he offered uh, oh, a lesson. Oh, I'm sorry, I just wanted to be cool. Yo, so, so you're gonna give me five dollars? No, I only have one! Well, it looks like you don't have a broccoli eater on your oh, head. But shows you. Oh, well, Cody, yeah. you're, you're a nerd, right? You like broccoli. Uh, no, I like men. But Joseph, I don't want to eat this broccoli. What do I do? Um, well, I don't know, dude. I would, I, I guess, hide it under that mat. Oh, under this, under yeah, this yeah, mat? Yeah, yeah, the red one. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that shit. Get it, Junior. I, I am. I'm getting yeah, all of it. Scrap it. All right. All right. All right. Cover it up. Okay. See, it's all gone now. Yeah, she. Uh, see, he said I think I ate it all, right? Hey, yeah, I can't know. even tell the difference. Yep, I, I ate all of it. Uh, Shark pee, pee come here. I ate all my vegetables. <sighs> what do you want? now, Junior? Well, I ate all my broccoli. Oh, you did? Yeah, it was so good. Cody saw me eat it, right? You saw me eat it, right? Yeah, yeah, Cody saw me eat it. He's, he's a witness. Hmm. That's surprising. Yeah. Well, can you tell me why your table mat has a big-ass lump under it? Well, don't tell anyone, but the, the table mat's pregnant, and she doesn't want her husband to find out because she had two miscarriages. Doesn't want to get his hopes up. Yeah. Yeah, sure. That's so surprising. I did not know this. Yeah. But I think you're a liar. Wait, why? Oh, uh, because you have broccoli all over this plate. I think you scraped the broccoli off of the plate and put it under the table mat. Well, you know what I think? What, what do you think? I think you're full of s***. What? 
because I think I ate all that broccoli and there is no broccoli underneath that table mat. So you're telling me if I lift up this table mat, I won't find a trace of broccoli under there? Not a single trace. I not probably, a single trace? Not, not a single trace. Not. Tell you what the hell is this? How does There's that? There's a mountain of freaking broccoli right here. How did that get there? Cody? <laughs> what did, did, that's your broccoli, right? Cody didn't have any damn broccoli. You're a liar, Junior. Well, that, well that's the point. He didn't you know what? It. We're going to solve this, okay? That I'm going to make you eat all of this off of the table. Don't even use your silverware. Use your freaking mouth, okay? <laughs> and if you don't, and when I come back, I will tell your dad personally. <laughs> and I'll make sure he'll get a belt and that he beats your ass. But I don't want to eat it. It's gross. It's okay. It's okay. I don't care if it's gross. But you better eat every single crumb off of this table. Every single one. And when I come back, it better be gone like poof. Well, well, I'm not a magician. I can't make it go gone like poof. Joseph, what am I going to do? Uh, what do you want, dude? Well, Chef PB said I have to make my broccoli disappear by the time he comes back. And I don't know what to do. Well, I don't know what to tell you. Because well, I'm through with my food. It was delicious. Wait, where are you? Where are you going? Oh, I'm going to watch TV. It's uh, boring over here. Don't leave me alone. I mean, I'm done with my food, too. What? Cody, you're done eating? Oh, yeah. I just got done eating these chips. What? Yeah, these chips that were so delicious and in no way stale, like they'd been left in a car for weeks on end. What? You want to talk about it, Cody? No, it's fine. Wait, where are you going? Going to watch TV with Joseph. Oh, well, you forgot, Ken. God damn it. Oh, uh, it's so gross. Ew. Julia, why isn't that broccoli gone? Oh, well, uh, sorry, Chef BB. It's just, uh, um... I don't want to eat it. I want to go watch TV with my friend. Look, look, look. I don't care what you want to do. You need to eat that broccoli. Your dad said you have to eat it. See, your friends are having a fun time over there watching TV. Don't you want to be like them? Yeah, I want to have fun with them, but why can't I eat it tomorrow or next year? Because you have to eat it now because it's right there. I had it on your plate, but you had to hide it, don't you? You just had to hide it. What is gross? Look, I don't care. You got one more minute to eat that stupid ass broccoli or I'm going to get your dad. One minute. Why oh, no? Stupid Junior always wants to argue with me. He doesn't have to wash the dishes. What? What? Junior, what the hell are you doing in here? I told you not to leave the table. Well, I, I need a napkin, Chef PB. What do you need a napkin for? Well, I, I tried to eat the broccoli and it got really messy, so um, I need a napkin. Broccoli doesn't even get messy. Well, it did, and uh, look, if you just give me a napkin, I'll eat all my broccoli, okay? Oh, just, just wait right here. I'll get it for you. Here, here you go. Bye. Thank you, Jack Yeah, whatever. I better not see you again. Yeah, that's good. Okay, I the broccoli, I'm the napkin, and then I just have to go to the bathroom, and I can flush it down the toilet. Okay, it's time to get out of there, sir. Chef um, uh, baby, I gotta use the bathroom. I gotta move. It's number two. Make it quick, so you're happy. Oh, get all this stuff. All right, let's go. Okay, hold it. Oh, yeah, that's gross. Okay. Bye bye, you stupid green broccoli. Your clothes is stupid. No one likes you, and you belong in the toilet. You're crap. Uh, hungry. Hungry. Oh, what? Nom 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 nom. More. More. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe I just flushed down the toilet. It looks like I actually ate it. Ah, uh, Chef Baby, I, I ate all my broccoli. What? I can't believe it. You're a liar. Let me come and see. Let me see. Where is it? I, I, I ate it. What? Where did it go? I, I ate it, Chef PB. That's hard to believe. Where did you put it? I know it's somewhere. Where? Is it under the mat still? No, no. I, I ate it all. Wow, you must have actually ate it. Yeah, I ate it. I'm a, I'm a big boy. I'm a procrastinator. I guess care. it just takes you a little time, huh? Yeah, I, I ate it all. I promise. Uh, well, I, I guess you can go watch TV with your friends. So, Yay! Yeah, thank you, Chef PB. Yeah, whatever. Uh, sorry guys, um, it took me a little bit longer to eat my broccoli than I expected. Dude, you didn't eat your broccoli. What, you, you know what you didn't eat? What? My, 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 my butthole, because you like it. If you like what? You know. uh, if the offer's opening. Where's my food? Uh, dude, I'm ready to go home. It's getting late. No, you can't go home until Dookie the Dragon goes off. Dude, I know how it's going to end. He's just going to kill himself. You don't know that. <laughs> I'm a crocodile! Wait, 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 no, but, but what's the difference? Now, alligator, is there a difference? No, no, there's a huge difference! What, what, I think he's ready, he's a guy, he's a little alligator. Yeah, we think he's an alligator. No, 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 I'm a crocodile! I, I 
I think he would know. <laughs> what, what, no, because no, like, alligators are more common, right? So I don't have them. Whoa, wait, 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 wait. You have a computer? See? See? That's an alligator. That's a crocodile. Oh, I'm a crocodile. Oh, okay, yeah, you're cute. The heat on the outside. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. You're a crocodile. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, what do you want? What do you want? I want my food. Oh, we don't, we don't have to do it. You want to go see Chef Vinny about that? Okay. He makes food. He's in the kitchen. The kitchen. Yeah, he's in the kitchen. Oh, no, that's so scary. What do we do? Oh, damn it. We missed the ending of Doobie the Dragon. I don't know how it ended. Just die! Ooh, I'm gonna make me a salad today. I'm feeling extra healthy. <laughs> oh, Jimmy left the stupid Capri Sun on the counter. Idiot. Uh, ooh, let me use the bathroom real quick. Oh, Capri Sun! That may be, but I just slapped on my own uh, high school football uniform, you know, go Huskies, woo woo. And, uh, yeah, I figured this helmet will probably protect me from some teeth or something, you know. I guess, um, but why is your jersey number zero? Oh, well, I, I, uh, I never made it to What? No, I, I, I was terrible. I dropped the ball, I fell down a lot, I broke my shit on my first try out there. Yeah, well, I was a kicker, but with no leg, it's kind of difficult, so, you know, the coach just laughed in my face. They let me, they let me keep the jersey because I cry it's a lot. Crazy. Yeah. Um, well, if you think it's gonna help you, uh, probably. Come in then. I'll give it a shot. No. Okay, there he is. Oh, god damn. What? That, that is a real crocodile. No. Yes, I thought it was a real crocodile. What'd you expect? I, I thought maybe you just saw a lizard who was stupid and freaked out or something. That's a full-blown crocodile. Yeah, it is. I told you that. Well, well what do you think it's a lizard? You'll wear that for a lizard? Yeah, yeah. I'm kind of scared of him. Uh, we can, we can, we can work this out. You got, uh, like a rope? Yeah, yeah, hold on. That'd be fine, guy. Yeah, this is... This is pretty scary, actually. Yeah. Okay, I found a rule. Oh, okay. There you go. Cool. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to read the rule. Okay. Hey, uh, hey, hey, there, buddy. Yeah. All right. Now that I can shit myself. Uh, yeah, you have a snack there, buddy. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that looks very tasty. Uh, okay. Uh, Hey, no. hey, maybe, maybe just try some of this roll here. No. And uh, yeah, you just wrap yourself up. Okay. No. You're not gonna. Okay, okay, you're smarter now. I see. Okay. Wait, like, look, you don't want to fight me. I don't want to fight you because I'll get my arms ripped off. So maybe we just talk about this. You know, take you back to a swamp or something, huh? It'd be good. You could eat some rats. You don't have to eat chips all the time. No. Nice tasty rat. That wouldn't that be good? Yeah. How about okay. If I throw a football and you catch it, I will leave. Oh god damn. Alright, you ready? Alright, I got I'm open. Uh cool. this is this is for you, Now you're gonna take me to prom. Prom we never had. Okay, this is for you, Daddy. Be proud. Go Hustis, yeah! Come on! Oh no, it's coming. Alright, I'm ready. I'm ready, come on! Fuck. Oh. Alright, well 
I guess I kind of embarrassed myself there. Yes, you did! You couldn't catch a football? Seriously? You well, catch like a girl! Well, this, oh, there's no need to be a dick, dude. The sun was in my eyes. What we, sun? We're inside! Well, he has a mean right off. Like, I'm left-handed! Oh, of course he is. Of course he's a crocodile left -handed. Look, I hired you for a reason. You're supposed to get rid of this stupid crocodile. If you don't get rid of him, I swear to God, I will have your head in your jaw. Uh, okay, I guess I will see what I can do. Uh, Please! Hey, uh, how you getting, Yummy? Uh, yeah, oh, okay, so you like eating stuff, right? Yeah. And they, they need, they need this mess cleaned up. They just, they clearly can't take care of themselves. I right? don't clean. Uh, okay, well, maybe, think about this for a second. Maybe you could be a garbage disposal. Huh? What is a garbage disposal? Well, what you would do is you'd live in this sink and then just eat all the garbage. Yeah? Sounds pretty good, right? Got yourself a deal. Yes. Urgh, it's a bit small. Oh, come on. It's not so bad. You can eat garbage. You just take these donuts and throw them in there. Then just, you know, turn it on. There you go. Yeah, it's some food for you. Urgh. Yeah. I, I want him to be gone. Like, get rid of him. Not just have him live under my cabinet. Well, think about it. You're going to save a lot of money on, like, utilities and garbage and stuff. But he's under my seat. Personally, I'm thinking about me just getting a double crocodile to be like for you know what, just get the hell out of here, please, before I strangle you myself. Oh, please. Yeah, please. Thank you. with your eggs. What? You said you're calling an exterminator. Don't they get rid of eggs? No, they get rid of annoying pets like you. Oh, you're, so, you're trying to get rid of me? I should, but no, there's a big, fat, old, disgusting rat in the kitchen. Well, why would you call yourself that, Chef PD? I wouldn't call myself that. There's an actual rat in the kitchen trying to eat all the cheese. Oh, there's a real rat? I want to see it. Ooh, well, let me call the exterminator first. Oh, no, 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 no. Chef I'll help you get rid of it. I want to see a rat. Wait, wait, you will? Yeah, I want to help you get rid of it. That'd be so much fun. Mm -hmm. I guess it would save money. Okay, let's do it. Uh, all right, come on. All right, Chef where's this rat? He's right there, Junior! Stop eating my teeth, you fat rat! Get out of the cheese! Are you hungry? Yeah. Do you like cheese? Yeah. Do you want this cheese? Yeah. Do you want this piece right there? Yeah. All right, you can have that piece right there. Stop eating that rat my cheese, Junior! He's hungry! Well, look, he can eat trash from out of the dumpster! Well, I would rather eat trash out of the dumpster than you're cooking. Wow! You know what? You're ugly! Get out of the cheese! I think I have one piece. Oh, Chevy, can I keep him as a pet? No, you can't keep that fat rat as a pet! Well, if you're allowed inside the house, why is it he? Well, what is this? Well, Chef PB Day, because I'm getting real tired of it! I just really want to keep him as a pet. He's cute! He's not cute! Look, look, look. We have to get rid of him. But how are we going to get rid of the cheese? Okay, spit it back out. How are we going to get rid of him? I have to get rid of him. Like. Are you choking? No, Junior, I have to get rid of him. Like. Oh, we're playing charades, so you're, you're a tree that fell in the forest. No, no, Junior, I have to get rid of him, like... Oh, you're gonna blow his mind. No, no, Junior, look, just follow me, I'll show you. All right, Junior, this is how we're gonna get rid of that rat. <laughs> you're gonna give him what he wants? No, these are mouse traps, Junior. What do they do? How about you step on this one right here and find out? Is it gonna hurt? Nah. Okay. Ah! Oh, Jimmy, that hurt! Oh, you gonna hurt that rat all over his body. I don't wanna hurt him like that. Oh, well, it's not your fault. Look, look, it's gonna be my fault. Okay. Oh, 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 he's coming. Oh, 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 Okay, I don't know where to hide you. You mean cheese? Oh, uh, okay. Uh, go in the closet. Ow! 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 
No, I don't believe that at all. Ripley's a liar. Junior, I can't believe what you just did. Well, I can't believe they make duck diapers. It's probably to cover his butt quack. Junior, you know what you did. You pushed me into the mouth traps. No, it was an accident. Oh, it was on purpose. Where's that rat? Oh, uh, uh, I put him outside. Wait, you did? You yeah, promised? Yeah, yeah, I put him outside because uh, I didn't want you hurting him, so I wanted him to go outside peacefully. Well, good, as long as he's not in the kitchen. Oh. Well, he's not in the kitchen. He's in the room, so that doesn't count. All right, Junior. That rat better be outside like you said, or I'm going to tell your daddy get you cry. Mom, 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 mom. <laughs> Uh, I thought I saw the boogeyman in my closet, so I closed the door before I go to sleep because the closet scared me. Oh, well, the closet scared me too, so keep the closet closed, okay? Uh, yeah, I will. Was, oh man, that was so close. I just don't want Shaggy to hurt my rat. I'm gonna go play with him. Oh, oh, oh no, he escaped. Oh. oh man, now that that rat's gone, I can finally get back to making my four cheese cheeses. It looks like it needs more cheeses. <laughs> A plate of cheese. What happened to my cheese? Uh, I ate it. I, I was really hungry. Well, don't eat any more of my cheese. Oh, uh, no, I'm not. Sorry. <laughs> Look, you have to stay in the closet. Shaggy, we can't find out about you. But I'm hungry. Well, I mean, you stay here and I'll bring the cheese to you. Well, yeah, I'll bring the cheese to you. Uh, look, look. Every time you want some cheese, just ring this bell. What? Where'd you go? What? Uh. All right, I got more cheese for my four cheese cheeses. Yeah, that's gonna be very cheesy. Oh, uh, Chef uh, is, is, is everything okay? Yeah, everything's okay. What, what's wrong with you? Wait, is that rat in the house? Uh, no, 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 the rat's not in the house. He's outside, and, uh, and he, um, I just want to tell you, uh, uh, what's that? Uh, how great of a, uh, how great of a chef uh, you are, and that uh, I really love your cooking. Wait, really? You don't like my cooking, Junior? Oh, no, I, I really do. What, what's my favorite food then? Uh, 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 your favorite food uh, is uh, to cook. What's your favorite food to eat, though? Uh, 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 you, 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 uh, uh, I like when you make. Uh, I like when you make peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Oh, really? Well, I don't remember making peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Uh, you, you make them all the time. Uh, well, actually, you should start making them because they'd be they'd be really good. Okay. Well, you, you, you keep looking at me though, because you're so beautiful. But oh, wait, wait, you think I'm beautiful? Uh, like, like, look at your mustache. I mean, I have been, you know, using moisturizer and stuff. Yeah, yeah but like, get right. Right. mustache. How? Oh, oh, I have brushed my mustache. You know, I had a, sometimes I had strawberry juice, you know, it makes it grow out. Stru what? Oh, oh, yeah, well, I, I really love that. And, and I really think that, and I, and, I, and I just want you to know that I care about you so much, Chef PB. And, oh, you do? And you should go to my closet. What? But no, 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 you're not, you... Oh, you Oh, man, I love hugging you, Chef PB. What are you doing? Get out of here, Julia, get out of me. Oh, okay, okay, I'm done hugging you, Chef PB, bye. You're so weird. Too close. We almost got caught. No, no, no. Did you have enough cheese? No. Junior! Uh, uh, hey, Chefy, what's up? Somebody ate all of my cheese. Oh, that was me. I was really hungry. I'm sorry. I don't believe it was you. I believe that rat is still in the house. Well, I believe you don't know what you're talking about. You know what? I'm going to catch that rat. And I'm going to catch him with this cheese stick. Well, well, well. Oh, that, that was my stomach. Well, no, it wasn't. I think that rat is in your closet. But the rat is not in my closet. How about you open up the closet, Junior? Well, I bet you $5 there's no rat in that closet. Okay, then open up the closet. You really want $5 that bad? Open up the closet, Junior. Well, well, well. See, I knew it, Junior. Oh, please don't make me get rid of my love here. Oh, I'm getting rid of him. I'm calling the executioner now. Oh, oh, oh my God, he's going to try to kill you. Uh, hello? Hey, uh, did you uh, call the executioner? Yes, do you kill rats? Uh, yeah, you kill rats, snitches, narcs, anything that you tap to. Wait, wait, no, no, I, I just need a rat kill. You know, like a rat, the animal? Oh, 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 okay, okay. So a rat, the animal. Oh, oh. Nah, we don't kill rats. Well, wait, you don't kill a rat? Nah, see, I'm a hit man. I only go after the ones that owe people money. So do you want to put a hit on a rat? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, I can put a head on the rat. Look, he's upstairs. He's a big rat. I just need you to take him out, please, okay? All right, just show him to me. All right, the rat is in this room, in the closet. So take him out. He's so annoying. All right, I can do that. Oh, can I make a mess? But sure, do whatever you need. Just take him out already. Oh, all right, say this. Oh, Mr. Rat, Mr. Rat, where are you? 
that's the executioner pie. Well, well, well. Wait, did you just come out the closet? Uh, I mean, does it look like it? I mean, Cody wants me to, but I don't swing that way. No, did you just come out that closet? Uh, yeah, I did. <laughs> so you're the rat. What? No, I'm, I'm a turtle. Nah, nah. See, I know you're the rat, and I was hired to get rid of you. What? You were hired to get rid of me? Oh yeah. But by who? Or by a chef. What? Chef Baby hired to get rid of me? Yeah, he hired me to get rid of you, so, uh, what's your last word? Uh, I can't believe Chef Baby would actually hire to get rid of me. I, I thought he loved me. I thought he cared about me. Well, well, well. Oh, oh my god, that's the biggest rat I've ever seen! Oh, Chef Baby hired that guy to get rid of me, and you scared him off. You saved my life. Well, well. I wish Chef Baby cared about me, but let's get you out of here. They're trying to get both of us. Well, well. Oh. I guess we have to go live on the street since nobody cares about us. Meow? Well, yeah, meow. Well. Junior, come back in the house. Chef Pee Pee, leave us alone. We're gonna go live on the street since nobody loves us. You're not going to live on the street. You're going to come back in the house right now. No, I'm gonna go live on the streets. The streets is the only thing that wants me. I belong to the streets now. No, you don't. Get in the house now, Junior. You hired a hitman to get rid of me. No, I didn't. I hired the hitman to get rid of the rat. And, and, and you told him I was the rat. No. Look, you're annoying like the rat, but you, look. I hired the hitman for the rat. It's just a misunderstanding, Junior. Well, you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and leave since you don't be in the house. I'm gonna do you a favor and leave on my own. Junior, you're gonna make me mad. Get in the house right now. Well, you make me mad by not caring about me and treat me bad all the time. I don't treat you bad. You treat me bad. Get in the house. Chef Pee Pee, I'm gonna go live on the streets, okay? You better not live on the street. Get in the house now, Junior. Wait, you don't want me to live on the street? No! Come in! Did you care about me? What? what? I, I wouldn't say all that. So, uh, okay, well, I'm not coming inside until you tell me you care about me. What? Junior, uh, get, get inside, please! Say you love me. No, I am not gonna say that. Say I'm gorgeous. What? No! Say it. Junior, you're gorgeous. Okay, okay, I'm getting a little bit closer. Do you care about me? I wouldn't say all that, Junior. Say, say you care about me. I care about you, Junior. Okay, now say you love me. Well, uh, I just said I love you. Oh, and, and now say that you'll play toys with me every day. Uh, well, I don't want to play toys, Junior. Say it. I'll play toys every day. And Fortnite? I guess Fortnite. And I want you to rub my back at night. Well, I don't know why I would even do that, Junior. But you'll do all that stuff for me? Yes, come inside! That's what she said. Alright, so I'm gonna say bye to my rat, okay? Yeah, you better say bye to him. Look, I guess this is goodbye. Yeah. yeah, so you can have this block of cheese. Alright, Chef Pee Pee, I'll come inside. Oh, Junior, you're so annoying. Uh, you said it. I can't believe you begged me to come back inside the house like a little girl. But, but I didn't beg you, Junior. Yeah, yeah, you were like, Oh, Junior, please come inside the house. I'm nothing without you. Shut up. No, you're a silly. I'm trying to rub my back. But I'm not rubbing your back, Junior. Oh, well, then I guess I'm going to live outside you. Oh, get back here. Oh, God, I rub your back. Yeah, rub it. Mm -hmm. A little lower. Shut up. A little lower to the front. Oh, shut up. visiting the playoffs. What do you mean, Pointy? Well, it's kind of like when you adopt a sick kitten that you know is going to be dead in a week. I mean, sure, you can play with it, but every time you do, you're just going to be reminded of how it'll be dead soon. That's how it is with the Miami Heat. They're in the playoffs, but they're going to oh, 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 so they're like the Dallas Cowboys. Yes, exactly. They're not supposed to be there. I mean, they're in the playoffs, but it's really just for show. Okay, Pointy, but didn't the Heat beat the Boston Celtics last year? Yes, they did in seven games with Jimmy Butler, who is not playing. Wait, why isn't he playing, Boyney? Isn't that his job? Yeah, you would think so, but at least he has a good excuse this time. See, he hurt his knee losing a playing game, and then his team went on to win without him, which gave me hope, but now they're just spreading their cheeks for the Celtics. Well, how long is it going to take for his knee to get better? Oh, well, with his diet of only ever drinking coffee, I'd say that he's going to lose long before he ever picks up another basketball. Wait, Boyney, aren't you a doctor? Can't you fix his knee? Yeah, you're right, Karen. I could probably go to the hospital and give him a pep talk or maybe some steroids. I'm gonna go see him. Oh, come on, boys. We play like you didn't drink your coffee. We can call it. Yes, yes, Mr. Butler. I don't think my eyes is I'm sure it isn't. We really should add water to it and not just coffee. Nope, I just want more big face coffee. Ugh, I'll stop brewing a pot. 
Hey, Mr. Butler. Oh, hey, Doctor. How's my leg doing? I don't know. I just got here. Oh, I see you're watching your team lose by 30. Yeah. 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 Fuck it, right? Yeah. That's fine. It's only 30. I mean, it's not like it's 40, right, Jimmy? That would just be embarrassing. Well, there's always next season. Oh, okay. So you've just fully given up on this season. That's good to know. You know they can't win without you. Nurse! Yes, Doctor? How, how bad is his knee? Well, he suffered a severe MCL sprain, so he could be out for weeks. Well, that's okay. That just gives me more time to make my coffee. Fucking snap out of it, Jimmy. What the fuck is going on in your head? I know the Jimmy that loves basketball is still in there somewhere. Okay, sir, sir, sir. This brings up a bigger issue. I think he might be addicted to coffee. Yeah, you fucking think? Yeah? Yeah, Jimmy, I think so. Well, sir, if we fix the issue now, he could recover for next season. Wow. You really think so? You think maybe if we cure his coffee addiction, we could get knocked out of the playoffs in the second round next time? Why wouldn't that be a dream come true? The second round. Come on, Jimmy. Let's get you to Addictions Anonymous. All right, Jimmy. This is Addictions Anonymous. Everybody here is addicted to something. We're going to get you some help. Ooh, is that complimentary coffee? Yummy. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome to Addictions Anonymous. Now, here, we don't discriminate whether you're addicted to alcohol or drugs or sex. Bingo! Hey, <laughs> Right here in this meeting, right now, right here. And I come up to you and I say, Hey, you want to make $10,000 in about 25 seconds? And you say, Yeah. Well, what I would do, I would pull out this stack of $10,000 cash. And then I would pull out a little letter saying it's a gig so you don't have to pay taxes. And I would probably take you to that room right over there and bet you the hell over. You know, you, you know, you know, you're not interested in that, so I'll just try to slowly put it back in my pocket. Uh, hold on there, Ronald. Um, um, Mr. Cheetah, why don't you go next? Okay. Oh, hell yeah. Chester? Chester, she called you. Uh -huh. What? It's your turn. Oh, hey everybody, my name is Chester Cheetah. Hi, Chester Cheetah. And I have a terrible addiction to Cheetos. I like to crunch them up and snort them. My kids won't talk to me. My wife left me. All I have left is Cheetos. See, see, Jimmy, you want to end up like that coked up cheetah? That's what's going to happen if you don't give up coffee. Oh, my God. Man, I didn't know that some people here were addicted to choking. Uh, um, man, how about you go next? Oh, my God. I'm, like, addicted to shopping, and I would do anything to have more money to buy more stuff. Hey. Mr. Jimmy Butler, sir, how about you go next? Oh, what? My turn? Well, I'm not really addicted to anything, so I don't really know why I'm here. Okay, Jimmy, thank you. I'll take it from here. Hey, everybody. This is NBA basketball play... Oh, I'm sorry. I misspoke. NBA country music singer and coffee barista Jimmy Butler. See, Jimmy here gets paid $200 million to play basketball, but instead of doing that, he would rather make coffee or do literally anything else other than play basketball. You name it, he'll probably do it, as long as it's not basketball. See, Jimmy lost the finals last year, and this year he can't even play because he's got a broken fucking knee or something. Somebody fell on it? I don't know, I'm assuming it's coffee related. But what I really want to say is I don't even care if the Heat lose every game for the rest of my life, as long as Jimmy does the one thing he gets paid to do, which is play fucking basketball. So please, I don't know how you people could possibly help him, but please, please help him. Help me help him, because I have not seen one fucking big face brick and mortar store, and I have never seen it on a grocery store self shelf, so I don't know who the fuck you're selling this coffee to, Jimmy. You flew all the way down to Columbia to make a video about how your coffee gets made. He prides himself on it coming out of the ground. Of course it fucking comes out of the ground, Jimmy. It's
coffee, where else would it come from? Uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm getting mad. I, I just salute this. That is so sad. <laughs> it is sad. The worst part about my addiction is now I was doing this thing. I think they're going to be back for a while. It's just Chester, and I don't think he can help. We should go back to the hospital. Oh, can I bring the coffee? Yeah. <laughs> oh, you're back. How'd it go? Somebody help me open my coffee? Oh. All right, Jimmy, we're going to do a little psychological test here. This is called an inkblot test. Just take a look at this picture and tell me what you see. Well, that looks like somebody spilled coffee on that piece of paper. All right, all right, all right. We'll, we'll do another one. All right, how about this one? Well, that looks like another coffee stain. Okay, but do you see something in the coffee stain? Mm -hmm. Maybe some creamer. Okay, okay. All right, well, how about this one? This one's got color. Okay, well, that is, that's the pumpkin spice coffee. <laughs> okay, okay, Jimmy, how about we try some... Jimmy, Jimmy, focus. Huh? Okay, how about we try something else? Well, peek after me, okay? Basketball. Oh, hold on. Basketball. Jimmy, are you listening? train ran on him. I'm gonna put on a jersey and go out there and play. But sir, sir, sir! You're wise. I know, but so is Tyler Hero. Now where is my burned up Jimmy Butler jersey? Okay, okay, all I have to do is make this free throw and we only lose by 25. Okay. Fuck. Well, at least I'm actually trying and not just drinking coffee. Wow, it's really pretty out here. This reminds me of Columbia. You know, that's where I grew up my coffee. I know, Jimmy. I know. You just think about the coffee, Jimmy. There's just so many different kinds of coffees. There's lattes, and cappuccinos, and cold brews, and espressos. You know, my coffee contains smile now. May cause happiness. I know, Jimmy. How do you take your coffee? Free the two sugars, Jimmy. Free the two sugars. <laughs> He's in a better place now. Aw, <laughs> boy, what's wrong? Jimmy Butler can't hurt us anymore. He's in a better place now. What? He's in a place where he can have all the coffee he wants, and nobody can bother him about basketball. Well, that sounds like a nice place, Pointy. Yeah. I just hope he's up there looking down on us right now. Fuck it, he's probably drinking coffee. God, I hate this sport! But ever since the last time we had a game night. And tonight's the perfect night for it because it's raining outside. How do you even play this game? Well, you spin the spinner here, and whatever number it lands on, that's how many times you press this button, and you try to steal a treat from Granny. But if she wakes up and spits her teeth out, you lose. George's dead. Oh, trust me, she's not dead. She's right here. Granny. All right, Cody, you go first. That's right. Looks like I have to press it once. Okay, your 
Jerry and Jenny. Okay. How many times do I gotta press this? Uh, one time. Can you press it for me? Okay, get your treat. Can you grab it for me? Every. Because you're right there. Okay, your turn, Joseph. Alright, that time is done. Uh, two times? Uh, can you press it for me, dude? Well, I'm missing a chromosome, so it takes my brain to take to process the signal. Morgan, did you just hear Jeffy scream? I think so. Well, what if he's hurt? Go check on him! Jeffy! Stop screaming, you goober! Morgan, go check on him! He's fine! But Cody, you lost! Yeah, yeah, you lost, Cody! Well, how did I move? Because you pressed the button for Joseph. Mm -hmm. well, but it was Joseph's turn! But it was your finger that made her wake up! Yeah, it was the pressure of your finger, dude! Yeah, it, it, if Joseph were pressed it, it wouldn't have went off, but since you pressed it so hard, you wanted Joseph to lose. Well, yeah. it was gonna go off no matter who pressed it! If you have a problem with Joseph, you pressed it hard since you wake up. What? Well, no, this is stupid! I don't want to play this game anymore! What? Did you cheat to make Joseph lose? Cheater! What? Well, you guys are cheating! Oh, no. All right, listen, we'll just play a different game. But Cody, no more cheating. Well, I'm not Cody. cheating. Come on, get it down. Oh, at the door. Oh, you'll get up to go check the door, but not on Jeffy? <sighs> Hello? Hey, buddy, we're here for the surprise. Lady, where are we? Shh, don't worry about that, Karen. You know what, you just stay right here while I finish getting your surprise ready. What's going on? Shut up, let me come inside. Uh, Karen, you stay here. <laughs> So what's going on? Oh, I screwed up really bad, man. Today's my wife's birthday, but I totally forgot. But I told her that I didn't forget and that I had a big surprise planned for her. So what's the surprise? Well, see, that's the thing. I don't really have a big surprise. I lied. You lied? Yeah, so I thought they could just set up a birthday party here, and I could tell it was a big surprise party that I planned a long time ago. You want us to lie? Yes, exactly. A big convincing lie, yeah. But we don't have the stuff for a party here. Oh, exactly, and that's why I brought two for $60 for your wife to go buy party supplies while we distract my wife. I don't Lie. Bitch, please! Just help me out here! It's not that hard, okay? Look, it's not even a lie if we really do it. Well, what kind of party supply? You know, like balloons and cupcakes, party shit! I don't know, go, okay? Hey! Jesus, how do you even deal with her? Uh, how do we distract your wife? I don't know, do you have anything fun? Well, the kids are playing board games downstairs. Yes, that's perfect, okay? Just ground all of them and we'll take their board games and play them with my wife. Is board games enough to distract your wife? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, my wife is an absolute dust, okay? A complete nincompoop. Okay, so I'll go get the board games and you can be your wife. What are we supposed to do, Cody? I think you're supposed to bend over in front of it and let it cross your brain. I'll pass. What are you kids doing? <laughs> We're playing board games! Well, Jeffy, you're grounded for screaming earlier. I was scared! Well, it hurt my ear, so ground it. Well, at least we can keep playing. No, all you kids, you better go upstairs or I'm gonna tell your parents you were doing drugs. Ah, oh, snitch. Well, what's your deal, dog? Well, we're having an adult party downstairs and there's no kids allowed. Well, I wanna go to the adult party. I'm 18. No, it's my house, so you gotta listen to my rules, Jeffy. So all the kids upstairs. Gee. Now. <sighs> okay. Hey, Karen. Boy, the it's baby outside. My head's gonna get all frizzy. Well, it's gonna be worth it when you see a surprise. Come on. Ready? Yeah, I got a bunch of board games. Oh, that's perfect. Hey, I grabbed the beer in your fridge. I hope you don't mind. Boydie, where are we? Oh, you can take your blindfold off down there. <gasps> what? what is this? Surprise! Surprise! Surprise party! Boydie, you threw me a surprise party? I thought you forgot! No, no, I would never forget your birthday. But look, we're gonna play board games before your party! Board games? I love board games! Yeah, I know, so just pick one. Uh, let's play! This one! Mm -hmm. Stir the pot. Uh, it says it roasts your friends for you. Yeah, it's a great game. Super fun. <gasps> you played it before? No, but we totally should. Yeah, let's do it. So how do we play this game, Boyny? Well, you draw a card. Whoever the card describes the best gets to keep the card. Oh, how fun! I want to go fast! Who is most likely to talk through the whole movie? <laughs> That'd be you, Karen. <laughs> I'm not Boyny! Yeah, you do. Take the card. Let's see what I got. Let's see, who has the shortest attention span? That's another card for you, Karen. That's not true. Oh, my God, I love this wall color. It's so orange. Let's do this card. All right, my turn. All right, who comes the least prepared? That's you because you forgot her birthday. Shut the fuck off. All right, it's my turn again. Let's see, who needs a new button? That sounds like you again, Karen. Boy, that's not very nice. Yeah, well, it's true. You need to be quieter. All right, let's see. Who has the most annoying voice? Another card for you, Karen. Wow, you're good at this game. I don't like this game, Boiny. It's kind of mean. Oh, I love this game. All right, it's my turn again. All right, let's see. Who never shuts the fuck up? Wow, Karen, another card for you. You should go pro. Okay, you know what? It's my turn again. I'm going. Who is most likely to get offended by a joke? Well, that one's for you, Boiny. I don't get offended. I don't get offended at anything. I love jokes. 
jokes. I laugh at jokes all the time. I don't know what you're talking about. Well, I'm gonna go again. Let's see. Who is most likely to get checked into anger management? Oh, that's another one for you, Pointy. I don't have anger problems, Karen. I just need to be away from you. Okay, let's see what we got. Whose phone do you want to go through the most? Let me see a phone, Pointy. Oh, you're never going anywhere near that damn thing. Now, let's see. Uh, who is most likely to start an argument for no reason? Well, that sounds like you care because you're starting shit. No, Pointy, you strike this up. Who wants to make this podcast? Hold on, hold on. I, I got a card. I got a card. How about, how about this? Um, who would bitch out their grandma for not giving them enough birthday money? Oh, well, yeah, that'd be me. Yeah, Yam Yam only gave me $5 for my like, 37th birthday. She knew I needed rent money. She's Logan. She can afford it. But Yam Yam is a stingy bitch. I hope you fucking die, Yam Yam. You know what? I don't want to play this game anymore. It's making me pissed off about games. Boyney, maybe you should stop drinking. Actually, I was just thinking I need another one. Well, I'll get a different game. Ah, stupid Karen starting shit. Hey, you yelled at your wife on her birthday? Yeah, she started it. Well, what are you doing? I'm getting more beer. It's the only way I'm gonna get through the rest of this party. Well, just try to calm down. You're being kind of crazy. Yeah, well, that's up to her. Okay, I'm back. Aw, Boyney, you brought a beer for everyone? <laughs> Good joke, Karen. You should be a comedian. No, these are all for me. Well, I went ahead and picked out the next game. It's called Spin the Dare. And you spin the arrow. Whoever it lands on picks up a card and they have to do the dare. Okay, cool. Well, I'm going to spin to go first. Well, it doesn't matter who spins first, Karen. It, it doesn't matter who spins as long as it's whoever it lands on. Boyney, it's my turn now. Spin it first. Oh, Boyney, it landed on you. You get to draw a card. Let another player go through your camera roll for two minutes. That's not happening. Oh, I'll go through your phone, Boiny. You're not going through my phone, Karen. What do you have to do with that's the dare? Well, how about this? How about we can all skip one dare, but only one? I'll remember that, Boiny. Okay, so I have to do this dare. Let's see. Invite the last person you called who isn't already here to come join in on the fun. Oh, hell no. Who was the last person you called? It was Jonathan, but I only called him to tell him to stop calling me. Boiny, invite your brother over. Call him. That's not happening. Then let me go through your phone. Yes, I'm going with Jonathan. Okay, it's working. Hey, Brooklyn guy. You got my number? No, this is for a dare. It's the only reason I called you. I knew you didn't hate me. Oh, I do, but we're playing this game and it dared me to call you and invite you to Karen's birthday party. Karen's <gasps> birthday party? I'm on my way. That's him. Hello? Where is Karen? Because I heard there was a fire. In my pit. <laughs> Is that my fireman outfit? Stop it. Stop. Stop stripping. I said stop it! Oh, why? Judging Karen wanted sexy because for her birthday. Yeah, maybe if it was a sexy one. Look, just go home, change into a normal outfit, wash my fireman outfit, because I'm assuming you're not wearing underwear. Nope. Okay, yeah, wash that, and then come back, I'll let you in. Okay. Okay, he's here, so I win the dare. Yeah, where's your birthday girl? I'm right here! Oh, I caught it! Why'd you catch it, Karen? Hello, Boyny. So, have you gotten your birthday spanking yet? Because I'm going to give you 18, because there's no way you're a super 18. Aw, Boyny, did you hear that? He thinks I'm young. Yeah. Wait, I didn't make the part where Karen gets in her birthday suit, did I? Okay, Jonathan, just calm down and let's play this game, okay? It's called Spin the Dare, okay? So you, so you just draw a card and you do the dare that's on the card. It's your turn. But, Boyny, you got to spin it. Yeah, we're not doing that anymore. Jonathan's turn. Now pick a card, Jonathan. Oh, okay. Ooh, this one's spicy. Reveal if you ask, marry, and kill using people from your group. Well, I killed you can die. Thanks. And then I would marry Karen. Aww. And then I would ask Karen over and 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 over Oh, this one's juicy. Take a selfie, kissing the person to your left on the lips and post on social media. Pop her up, baby. Oh, okay, okay. I don't want to play this game anymore. We're still, we're gonna stop playing. No, that's not fair. You can't do that. That's not part of the rules. It's Karen's birthday. We're not doing that, Jonathan. Let's play Twister instead. Oh, hell yeah. Twister. Can do. No, no, Twister the game. Oh yeah, it's gonna be a game. Okay, let's, let's stop the game. So what are the rules for Twister? Well, you spin this spinner, and then whatever body part and color it lands on, you put that body part on that color. But Pointy, we don't have feet, so what happens if it spins on left foot or right foot? Ooh, I know! I'm gonna fix your board! We'll be right back! Alright, so I fixed your board! So now I can carry your butt or carry your boobs! We're not playing this. Go ahead and spin, Karen! 
Uh, we're back. Yeah, you're back. How was your trip? It was, it was something. It was fun, Mommy. We rode all kinds of rides. I was like, wee! And Daddy was like, bleh! I'm glad you had fun. Did you take any pictures? Oh, yeah, okay. we definitely took pictures. Did I do my phone? Tell her about Minnie Mouse, Daddy. Oh, uh, that's What happened with Minnie Mouse? Uh, she was, she was just so nice. No, nice. too nice. Yeah, yeah, that. Did pictures with her? I don't know. We had to delete it. What? Why? Because Jeffy was flicking the middle finger in the photo. Jeffy, why would you do that? I didn't do that. Yes, you did, Jeffy. Yes. I don't even have middle finger. Uh, yeah, so yeah, we were just taking photos and just keep looking at the photos. Okay. <sighs> let, me, let me see what that is. Just, just keep looking at the photos. Hello? Hey there, sexy. Minnie Mouse, what are you doing here? Did you miss me? What are the, no, I did not miss you. What are you doing here? Oh, I haven't been able to stop thinking about you since you visited the Magic Kingdom. Oh, really? Listen, Minnie Mouse, I know you have a crush on me, I know you like me, but I have a wife and a family, I can't be talking to you. Oh, come on, Marvin, what does she have that I don't have? What does my wife have that you don't have? Well, she's a human and, and you're a mouse. Oh, yeah? What does she have that this? You like what you see, huh? That, 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 I guess that's a nice mouse, but, but you gotta go. Oh, well, there's more where that came from. Well, I, I'm gonna go inside, so you just stay right here. Marvin, who's at the door? Uh, the, 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 no one. Oh, Baby, baby, listen, listen, uh, Minnie Mouse, she has to go right now. But Marvin, I want an autograph first. Okay, a quick autograph, and then Minnie Mouse has to go. So can, can you sign this? Anything for you, Marvin. Don't say that. Ooh, baby, she thirsty. Okay, well, baby, listen, we, we need to talk. So um, while we were at Disney World, me and Jeffy were taking pictures of all the Disney characters, and we were taking pictures of Mickey Mouse and Goofy and Donald, and, and, and then we got a picture with uh, Minnie Mouse, because we had to get a picture of Minnie Mouse. It's the girl, Mickey Mouse, and I put my arm around her, and she said, she the way I did that. And, She signed it wrong. She misspelled her name. She has to sign it again, and we don't have any more papers. So, so you gotta go, Minnie Mouse. Sorry, bye. I'm gonna go look for another piece of paper. Well, no, no. Okay, listen. You have to go. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta leave. I hate you. Oh, come on, Marvin. You don't need that. I do, Minnie. Leave. Here we go. I found one. Oh, okay, look. Just do another autograph. Only sign your name. Just your name. Just, just Minnie Mouse, and that's it. I'm gonna watch you do it the whole time. <laughs> uh, let me go answer the door. Uh, baby, just, 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 please just sign your name. Hello? Oh, yeah. Bet you weren't expecting us. Did we interrupt your party? Oh, uh, Mickey Goofy Dollar, what are you doing here? Oh, well, I haven't seen Minnie in a couple days, so I checked the location on her phone, and it says she's here! So where is she? Tell us, or we'll break your kneecaps! Uh, uh oh, okay, well, uh, she's up there. Whoa, 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 Well, do, Mickey. Oh, no, 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 no baseball bat. No breaking kneecaps. Listen, listen. Minnie's upstairs. I haven't done anything with her. I promise. I knew it. I knew it. You got the crack on her car. Why don't you want your money, my car? You're bull, but I'm a traitor. And I love you. I don't know why she wouldn't. I'm asking those same things. All right. Let me see it. What? Whip it up. What? I want to see if they got a big and tough. Well, I, I, I don't have a big and tough. Minnie's upstairs. How about you go talk to her yourself? Oh, yeah. Let's go do that. Ah, Mickey's here. <laughs> Marvin, I want Mickey Mouse's autograph too. No, baby, I would not ask Mickey Mouse for his autograph because he's in a bad mood. He doesn't want to find an autograph right now. But he's the happiest mouse alive. <laughs> Mr. Mouse, will you send an autograph for me? Shut up! I don't see her so much, Marvin. I can smell her now. Never mind for me. Hey, man, you ready for me to block him? Not yet, Goofy. Let's say he talks first, huh? Marvin, what is going on here? Marvin, there's nothing going on. It's just a big misunderstanding. <laughs> Can we please work something out? No, you got no counterpoint. So baby, what do we do? What? I don't know, Marvin. Look out! 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 Oh, 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 oh,
Hello? And now we're gonna kill you, huh? What shall we do to him first, Goofy? I think we should waterboard him. Well, I think we should gouge their eyeballs out and piss on our skulls! Mickey, you're one sick son of a bitch. I think we should cut their ears off and shove them down their throat so they can listen to their own screams when they die. I want to see his brain splatter on the floor. Oh, I like that idea. Let's get to it, Goofy. No. Why would we don't do this? Please don't do this, Mickey. He didn't do anything. Yeah, you did. You cheated on me with this fool. So now I'm going to kill him. No, I didn't. This food is only for you. Hold on. Goofy, we're getting out of here. Oh, so no brain bashing? Oh, there's going to be some bashing, all right, huh? Well, don't have to tell me twice. Hey, Mackie, ever heard of the Eiffel Tower? I don't know what the hell's going on, but let, let, let's get out of here. Okay. This has been the weirdest day of my life. Then are you sure nothing happened between you and Minnie Mouse? Maybe, are you kidding me? No, I didn't do anything with Minnie Mouse. She's a mouse. Then how do you explain this picture? It's just a drawing. But it looks so real. She's right, buddy. Well, it's, a, it's a drawing in Sharpie. It's, it's, it's what Minnie Mouse wanted to happen. Nothing happened. Look, look, I'm never going to Disney World ever again. Oh, no, 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 you're gonna like Universal Studios. We'll start going there. They have better rides. Well, we can't go to Universal Studios because they have metal detectors on all their rides and we can't film at Universal Studios. Oh, just, 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 just five things you have to do during the summer. I got hold the rope. I got 30 more ropes! to go. Wait, you're not 18 yet? Oh, that makes sense, because your ass would have been out of my house by now. Why do you need me gone? Because I got a lady friend over for the weekend, and we handle the grown folks' business, and you cannot be here. Wait, who is she? Oh, she's a new mommy, but, you know, she calls me daddy, so she might be a new sister. I don't know. Where am I supposed to go? Uh, I got three tickets to Disney World. Look, you can take whoever you want, or any friend or whatever. Just, you can't be here. I got useless red couch, and I'm gonna be back in ten minutes, okay? Uh, okay? Butt naked, so get out! Uh, okay, I'll leave! I got three tickets to Disney World? I'm gonna call my friends! Well, I only see you. Oh, there's the three! I'm gonna call my friends! Hey, Junior, you sounded really excited on the phone. Yeah, dude, what's going on? What if I told you guys I have three tickets to do something so cool this weekend, it'll make this summer the best summer ever! Oh, no, we going to Universal Studios? Close. Australia? Not close at all. The cruise? No. Look, guys, I got three tickets to Disney World! How's that gay, Cody? We've been to Disney like a million times. Yeah, Disney's for little kids, dude. Let's go to Universal Studios where the roller coasters are. Yeah, roller coasters are cool. Disney World has roller coasters. They have a rocket roller coaster. Okay, they have one decent roller coaster. What about Space Mountain? And break my neck? No, thank you. Okay, they just open the Tron. Okay, the Tron doesn't go upside down. You know what does go upside down? Velocicoaster. Oh, dude, in the Incredible Hulk ride. Yeah, Harry Potter, I can get some butter beer in Hogsmeade. Come on, guys, we're going to Disney World. It's three tickets, let's just go. No, I think I'm going to stay here. Oh, yeah, dude, I'm going to go to the park. Wait, you'd rather go to the park than Disney World? Yeah, I don't want to wait in line for three hours to be disappointed. Well, guys, listen, let's just go to Disney World. It's just for the weekend. It'll be really fun, and we can go to Universal like next month. Yeah, I think I'm going to stay here. Guys, you have to hurry up and go. My dad's going to be naked on this couch. I'm sorry, what? He said he's going to get naked, and he's going to be here, so we got to go. Hey, okay, I'm definitely staying here. I want to watch. Wait, no, guys, if you're not going to Disney World with me, you got to go. Please. I'm gonna find all of my other friends! You hear me? I can't believe this. Hey, Junior, you call me? Hey, PJ Crenshaw, Jamie James Crenshaw, pair of Jamie's Crenshaw. Yep, that's my name. What's up? I have three tickets to Disney World, and I wanted to know if you wanted to go with me. Let me just check my schedule. Hey, ladies, you got anything going on this weekend? No, PJ. Well, looks like we can go to Disney World. Then let's go to Disney World. Go on, ladies, we're going to Disney World. Yeah. No, 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 you're gonna have to leave one of your girls behind. Excuse me. Well, I only have three tickets to Disney World, so if me, you, and one girl go, you have to leave the other girl behind. One girl? What if I get bored? Well, you're gonna be at Disney World with a girl and me. You're not gonna be bored. But what if I get bored of that girl and I want a different girl? Well, just pick up a new girl inside Disney World. No, 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 no. I have to bring both my girls. Okay, well, what if you leave one behind and I do whatever that other girl does to make you happy? Believe me, you don't want to do what that other girl does. Come on, ladies, let's go. Well, no, 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 no. Oh, why doesn't anyone want to play Disney with me? I can't. Tell us that. Well, Dad, why don't you have pants on? Uh, I told you, I got grown folks' business to handle. Now go to Disney now! Okay, back up. 
up like grandma to this. Alright, hey, get that thing away from me. Sorry, I know it's out. Mm-mm-mm, mm, my cheese sticks are almost ready. Hey, Chef Pepe, you wanna go to Disney World with me? No, Junior, I don't have any money to buy any tickets, okay? I already have the tickets, I just want you to go with me. <gasps> me, Chef Pepe, instead of your friends? Oh my god, I feel so honored. Well, no, I asked my friends and they said no, so I'm asking you. So I'm your second choice? Well, actually, you're my third choice, and I asked PJ Crenshaw and he said no. I'm your third choice? Oh my god, I can't believe you, Junior. She said no, and then I asked you, do you feel special? No. Exactly! I'm the bronze medal in this situation instead of gold! I'm an ugly girl! Why does anyone want to go with me? You know what? I'm just gonna go by myself! Woohoo! I'm at Disney World. Hey, pal! Why do you look so sad? You're at the happiest place on Earth! Well, Mickey Mouse, my friends wouldn't go to Disney World with me. Why not? Because they said it's gay. They said what? Turn me to a wet guy! Okay, I'll take you, come on. Oh, come on, come on. Oh, it's everywhere. Hey, Dad, I know you want to be gone the whole weekend, but I'm back early. Oh, I really only needed five minutes. She's already gone. I blocked her. <laughs> and I almost got all the stains out of the couch. You're welcome. But I would warn you, if you smell a fishy smell again, I'll spray some Febreze. Gosh, she's fishy. Oh, who's that? That was my dad. He bought me the Disney tickets. Oh, thank you for your business, sir. Now, where's your ungrateful friends? Uh, well, they're at their house. You want me to invite them over? Yeah, I want to speak to them. Okay, let me call them. Did you call? Yeah, I thought you were supposed to be in Disney. Wait, what's that smell? Have you been eating red lobster in here? Yeah, I smell catfish, dude. Oh, hey, Mickey Mouse. What? Mickey Mouse? Are you the little shit that called my park gay? Uh, kinda. Ow! That's all it is. It's for little kids, dude. Oh, yeah? It's a little kids! Don't let it have a knife! Mickey, put the knife down. Mickey, you said you just wanted to talk to him. This is how I talk! Oh, guys, Mickey's just really mad that you guys didn't want to go to Disney with me. Yeah, why didn't you want to go to Disney, huh? Why well, because Universal Studios is better. What does Universal Studios have? That definitely doesn't have a Velocicoaster. Velocicoaster? Stay Velocicoaster! And the Incredible Hulk. Alright, that one's pretty good. And, and Harry Potter. Harry Potter? Harry Potter? You look like Harry Potter! I was in one video. Ah! You didn't help me before you put the mouse tool up my ass. Oh, uh, Mickey, just calm down. Alright, guys, look, let's just try to calm Mickey down. What do you want, Mickey? I just want to know. Why the Velocicoaster is so much better than Disney? Well, it goes upside down. The Rock and Roller Coaster goes upside down. Yeah, but like three times. Velocicoaster goes upside down like nine times. Oh, so you like going upside down? Yeah, that's cool. Okay, I'll show you upside down. Go away! Get out of here! Oh, oh, oh. Hey, Mickey, sorry I'm late. Some kid bit me at a photo shoot, so I ate him. Oh, good, Goofy. But next time you're late, I'm going to make sure that your kneecaps are on the back side of your legs. Oh, Mickey, you ain't going to do shit. Goofy, don't embarrass me in front of these people. Well, how about you stop staring at me with your fucking Batman eyes and tell me what's going on? Oh, well, our new friends here think that Universal Studios is better than Disney World. That's it. My middle finger, that's all you got. Well, what do you want me to do, Mickey? Eat them? I'm not hungry anymore. Special upside down rock. Oh, okay. Yeah, oh, oh, but I don't know if they're tall enough for your upside down rock. Oh, it doesn't matter. Yeah, you kids like going upside down, so how about, how about you go follow Goofy and he'll take you to his special upside down rock. Yeah, kids, let's take a ride. Well, I like Disney World, so only those two are right, so go. Yeah, he's cool. So, are you enjoying your ride? Hit them with a hammer? Oh, good thinking, little buddy. Yeah, the hammer's upstairs. Okay. And Mickey, you should grab a hammer too. Oh, great thinking. Two hammers is way better than one. Yeah. Um. All right, guys. I'm gonna call the dog. I'm gonna get some help. 
just because he wanted even more money than he already had. Oh, so Mickey Mouse can come back and hurt us if he wants to? Yeah, if he wants to. But if he does, don't call me. <laughs> you guys want to go to Six Flags? Hi! <laughs> 